My name's Chris, and I repair my own audio equipment, and I also show you how to repair yours. So let's get started. What has happened to Hi-Fi Engine? You guys that follow my videos know that just about every video I have, you know, whether I'm repairing, restoring, just talking about a piece of vintage audio equipment, I bring up Hi-Fi Engine because it's a great resource where you can download your owner's manuals, your service manuals, old brochures, a wonderful, wonderful resource for anybody who has vintage audio equipment. And to repair or restore a piece of this equipment, you need to have the service manual. Do you need the owner's manual? No. Do you need some old brochures? No. But you need that service manual or at a minimum you need the schematic and that is normally in the service manual. So what has happened? I can't tell you how many times in the comments I've seen I can't log into Hi-Fi Engine anymore. I used to be able to. I've tried to open a new account. I can't. It seems that they've stopped taking new members because new people can't log in. At least I haven't heard about anybody being able to log in in a couple of years. And also folks that were existing members of Hi-Fi Engine that haven't used the service in a long time have attempted to log in and they can't log in anymore. Their accounts have been disabled. And when I say a long time, it seems like some of these folks are going a year or so and then it's disabled. I really don't know what the period of time is. I just know if you wait long enough, you're gonna lose your privileges. I've been a member of Hi-Fi Engine for more than 10 years and I'm still able to log in fine. I just logged in yesterday and downloaded a couple documents and that's all I've ever done is when I've needed something, I've gone in there and downloaded it and never had an issue. I think part of the problem is if you go to eBay, you can see people selling reproductions of service manuals, of owner's manuals. And it wouldn't surprise me if some of those being sold on eBay were obtained at a site like Hi-Fi Engine. So I don't know if the owner of Hi-Fi Engine, which is also the owner of Vinyl Engine, just got sick of it and said, all right, I'm gonna cut people off. I'm just not gonna do this anymore because the gentleman doing it is not making any money. It's a service that I would have thought through the years there would have been a charge for, but he's doing it as a hobby, he's doing it as a service, and it just takes a few people to ruin it for everybody. So from you guys, what I'd like to know is what is your experience with Hi-Fi Engine? And how long have you been on there? If you can still get in, or did you used to be a member and now you can't get in? Or any of you new guys that have tried to open an account, have you been able to do it? Also, what alternatives have you guys found for Hi-Fi Engine to get those owner manuals and service manuals, if you found anything at all? that you're using to repair and restore your vintage audio equipment. So just put your comments down below about if you can still use Hi-Fi Engine, if it's changed for you. Also, where do you get your information, your documentation for vintage audio equipment? I look around at the different pieces of equipment in my collection, and there's not one of them that I can't thank Hi-Fi Engine enough for allowing me to get the documentation to be able to repair it and adjust it and to make it as close to new as I possibly can. I've never found another resource that's even close to Hi-Fi Engine and it would be a shame if for some reason it disappeared. And that's a little bit what I'm worried about, is one day I'm gonna to go to hifiengine.com and you're gonna get page not found. It's gonna just disappear because my understanding is, as I mentioned earlier, it's just one gentleman that takes care of it. If something happens to him or he just gets tired of dealing with it, as I mentioned earlier, this is a free service. And as you guys know in the world, nothing's free. I don't know what he pays to have his website and the bandwidth it takes for a site like that. 
but it's not free. I can guarantee you that. What I'd recommend for any of you guys who are able to download from Hi-Fi Engine is to save multiple copies of your PDF files that you download from them in case something does happen. Because one day you may not be able to get that Hitachi SR2004 service manual. And it'd be a shame if a receiver like this was put in the garbage because you couldn't get the documentation to fix it. Or having an amplifier like my Sansui BA5000 just sitting around on a shelf because there's no documentation available to fix it. It would just be a shame. I have two Marantz 2500s in my collection and neither one of them I would have been able to get operating properly without the service manual that I obtained from HiFiEngine.com. And let me just make a point here also because a lot of people will say yeah well you got the documentation but you can't get parts that's baloney 99 percent of the parts are still available many of them are superior equivalents from what they produced in the 1960s 70s and 80s so you can get the parts for this equipment the most difficult part the part that i try to help you guys with is the best i can is finding somebody to work on it that is what's very difficult now because there's just not that many people who are working on them they're either passing away or retiring and they if you can't do it yourself you're really stuck the same goes for my Marantz 10B tuner, which is a vacuum tube piece of equipment. It would be sitting on a shelf, never to operate again, without those manuals that I was able to get from HiFiEngine.com. Anything you can add in the comments will just help everybody all around the world. This equipment's going to outlast us all. <laughs> I really think it will. I think we'll all be dead and long gone. And the Sansui or the Marantz or the Pioneers of the world, they're going to still be playing. But they're going to need somebody to have documentation that can fix them. So anything you can add, please do it. This was a pretty short video, especially for me, but I thought it was important because I see so many comments about Hi-Fi Engine just not being available for folks. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And as always, thank you for watching to my present subscribers. Any of you guys out there that are new that aren't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. So y'all have a good day.